Hey, what's going on? Thank you for joining me in the next installment of Crushing E-Commerce. My name is Travis Patel, and in this video, we're going to be talking about adding upsells to your store. Now, an upsell is a sales and marketing technique where when you promote and sell a product, someone clicks the buy button on your product, what we can do is we can promote another related product or something that fits with that initial buy and that initial purchase to this, this new customer. And what this does is a very hot moment in that buyer's mind where they're, they're very likely to buy more. They might need some other tools that fit well with what they're doing. If there's any like accessories or refillable parts that can be done, those are great upsell type of thoughts. You know, on the beard uh, brand here, we've set up the, uh, the first ad to the, the oil here, the beard oil conditioner. So a, a great upsell for this one would be something like maybe a beard balm from the, uh, the same company. Or maybe you could do a, a monthly subscription at a discounted price or something like that. But we want to have an upsell feature here at, at, right when they're, they're purchasing just because it's that hot moment. Now it depends on the niche you're in. You definitely want to test these things out because there's multiple ways to do upsells. And depending on how you do an e-commerce store, sometimes an upsell that comes too quickly will cause people to not follow through with their purchase. Even if they don't want that second product, they might just think it's more of a spammy feeling. Whereas certain digital uh, information product niches and products like that, you can do upsells much more um, in your face. Whereas if you have an e-commerce and physical product store, you really want to be careful where and, and what you're showing these buyers so that you don't discourage the actual initial sale. So let me talk about the different ways uh, you can f have an upsell. Now first off, this is a sales page for our oil. Um, for if, you, if they click the add to cart button here, one type of upsell would show a pop-up that comes up right then and it would have the upsell product. Now we don't have that set up right now, but that is just one way of going about it. Now the other time is when they're going to the checkout process. And they go through this, they click the actual initial, the last purchase button, then the pop-up comes up and says, here's a related product you might like, would you like to add it to your cart? Now those are the two ways to do the one-click upsells right in the sales process. Um, now another way to kind of have an upsell, which we're going to talk about later in the program in the margin makers module here, is adding the buyers list and the back-end products. And this is really where a lot of the physical product goods they have the best results is when you're having that back-end email system coming in, the, purchase, the person's already made the purchase, gone through with it, and then you're telling them what else they might need, or there's other discounts and things like that. Um, that's kind of the best way to go. But depending on the store, depending on the product that you're selling, a one-click upsell that's right away can have great effects, adding 20 to 30% uh, income through that one product without having to add anything extra other than showing them that product. So I want to show you how you can set up upsells on Shopify here. There's lots of different ways to do this. You can, have, you know, like if you build your own store, you can have it created, and there's lots of different apps that you can add. We're going to go ahead and just add uh, one popular one I know works pretty well. I think it's just called Product Upsell. Bold Apps is a good provider for Shopify. They have some good... Um, quality apps that you can install. Now this one offers the two different type of upsells I talked about, the add the cart click and then the checkout click. Both those will do this little pop-up as you can see happening over here. Um, so what we're going to do to add this into the Shopify store is just go ahead and click get. We get a 30-day trial so we won't have to pay the nine the ten bucks to forty bucks a month. Um, you can test it out if you're making your money then keep it on. If not to turn it away. So on July 19th, we want to make sure I've made at least 10 bucks, and uh, if more, if we have a lot of traffic coming through. All right, so there we go. That is installed on our Shopify store. It's really that easy. Now what we can do is go ahead and set up our upsell. We'll go ahead and do that. There's lots of different features here on this one where it has reports. You can set up your, your new offers, which it's at the one click to add cart button or the checkout. We're gonna go ahead and set up a checkout uh, purchase. Now the product we're promoting to is this oil here. So like I said, something that would go well without maybe the balm in the same store. So let's go ahead and look on eBay for that, something to drop ship there. So this is called the Bearded Man Balm. And then try and look for that same, okay, here we go. I got the same type of company branding. That's the same thing, 1586. 
would be a little bit more expensive than the oil. I think the oils was like fifteen dollars total. That's including shipping. So like ten bucks, nine bucks for the oil. This is a larger quantity. So fifteen bucks is kind of our minimum. So what we'll do is we can just do our same old type of thirty percent markup, where we'll say ten, six, fifteen dollars plus maybe twenty four ninety nine to twenty nine ninety nine would be this. And we could say it's twenty nine ninety nine to upsell, but offer maybe like a fifteen to twenty percent discount code in the upsell so that you get it for twenty five. We're still making five to ten dollars profit per purchase. But remember, you're not spending money on this purchase. This is just extra money coming in to the, the initial sale sale you've already made that's already making you a profit. So we're gonna head, go ahead and add this one to the store. That yet, and you can even do this in like a package deal. Beard bomb. One. So you have both the oil and the the cream together, or the bomb together. Like a special price or something, something else you could promote. Let's go ahead and make sure and add this to our notes here. dollars with shipping right six yes 20 bucks all right so we'll go make that product on our store right there grab our description all right so we're going to compare price 929.99 sell them for 24.99 right now we'll do this 34.99 Seven ninety nine. Just get a few more dollars out of that. Shipping one. Make sure this looks good. All right. So we check this. There's our sales page. Looks good. So now we can go ahead and set up that upsell offer. So we'll go into current offers here in the dashboard, and we'll create new. I have instructional videos on how to set up all this stuff. Bold Apps is very good at having it very easy to do. Step one here, we have to select where we want to show the offer. This is when we're doing the checkout button, like we said we want to do, or you can do the add the cart button. You can have it where the product's automatically added to the cart when they load. Um, don't need that right now. We're going to do the checkout button. Offer name, this is for our internal use. Beard oil to bomb. Bearded man, oil to bomb. This is what the buyer will see once they click the checkout button. And I'll say, don't forget the bomb. Grab this bearded man bomb for how much is percentage off? Thirty four ninety nine to twenty seven ninety nine. Like 10, 15 percent, 20 percent, 34, seven bucks off. So about 20 percent. I'll do the math on that later, make it accurate. <laughs> Step three, we're going to choose the product we want to upsell. This is where we're going to choose the balm that we just created. 7.99. All right, now we can select the offers here. We do want to allow customers to add more than one card, uh, product to the cart. Don't need to worry about that. We're not going to limit, add a disclaimer, one or two per customer. You could do that if you're doing a special offer. Step four, we want to select the trigger. So this is the product that's going to trigger this actual upsell popping up. We don't have a minimum. We don't have a start and end date. Here's our trigger product. So we'll select the oil. 
hypoxia out of stock, sure. Create. All right, so there we are. We have the offer set up. We can check out what the trigger looks like. This is the sales page here. They click add the cart. They go to the checkout page, and then they click check out, and this is what pops up. Boom. Don't forget the bomb. Grab this bearded man bomb for 20% off. Get yours now. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So there we go. We have the upsell set up, ready to go. And uh, you can continue to play with this with your products, set the right products together. Works very well. You can also look at other apps and features out there where they do have a lot of other upsell uh, apps available that might be better to your liking. This is a great option just kind of have things going. Like I said, you get a 30-day trial. So if you're not making that money that you're spending on this app in that 30 days, then uh, turn it off. You don't need it. Um, because some stores don't need the upsell right away. They prefer the back-end buyers list like we're going to be talking about later in this module. So if you enjoyed this, guys, Travis Patel here. I'll see you in the next one.